Hello everybody. So I think I'm going to do an ankle update today. Just to let you guys know how my ankle's doing. And uh, I know a lot of people are, have been on the fence on whether they should go and get a stem cell injection. Um, and do they really work? And um, when you're going, when you're, when you're going through the internet or YouTube and stuff, there's a lot of mixed reviews and mixed comments and stuff. And I think that I've probably got um, some of the best true information hands-on um, as far as somebody actually went out and did it and kind of shared their journey the entire way. So um, let me just go ahead and show you guys where I'm at right now because everybody, I keep telling you, I'm 100% on my ankle, but the proof is in the pudding, obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll do a couple exercises right now um, with my ankle and I'll, I'll show you guys where I'm at, okay? So let me stand up here. Okay, let's go out here on the grass. Go ahead and, all right. This, this is the hurt ankle. Right. This ankle's fine. But let me show you both ankles just so you, you're convinced that it's, uh, I'll just do both of them and then uh, we won't have to try and figure out which one's which. Okay, here we go. Um, if you have arthritis in the ankle, obviously you can't do this. Okay, just a couple hops. But you know what? Just for kicks and giggles, some people can they can bear through the pain for a little bit, but let's let's do it for a little while. On the right foot I actually on one of my metatarsals though. I do have a little bit of something weird going on where I had like two toes kind of splayed a little bit and I went and had an MRI done on that and they said I have some kind of like bursitis or something going on in there, whatever. It's not painful enough to do anything about it. It bothers me but the ankle, zero pain, doesn't bother me at all. Uh, let's try and do, let's try some out and ends, here we go. All right, some kind of little jumping things. Uh, let's try and do it on the concrete. Okay, so just so you guys know, the ankle that originally hurt, I'm actually hopping on that one better than the other one even. Well, that's because I got the splayed toe thing going on on the other foot. But anyways, so a couple years ago, I wouldn't have been able to do that, not for a million years. But uh, I had the stem cell injection, two of them. Um, and uh, I thought I was gonna need a third one. But for some reason, the thing just healed right up. Then I went down to the doctor um, when I was having my toe thing checked out. And he checked on the ankle, pulled on it a couple times, and he couldn't hear any arthritis or anything in it. I have not had an MRI done on it to check on it since I had the MRI that showed that I had the degeneration in it. Um, but if you got no pain, why are you going to go spend money on an MRI? And uh, anyways, yeah, so... That's the ankle update, you guys. And let's see, I've I've had no pain for what about a year now? Maybe longer? Can't even remember. Uh, 
but yeah i mean and and the thing the main thing is too is make sure you live in an active lifestyle okay i do recall though when i when the ankle was hurting and i think i was about 60 or 70 percent better i would actually walk on it and kind of suffer through the pain for a little bit and that went on for probably a few months and uh, and then it just kind of got better and better and better and better because I feel like if you don't do anything you're not you're not giving it any ability to heal or anything um, you got to get things you got to stir stuff up sometimes in order to get it to move around so my videos they're really really good um, along the whole journey that talk about every what to expect from the shot injection all the way down to where I am right now um, you know of, of zero pain and remember you got to have some kind of tissue in there too if you got bone on bone I don't know if this is gonna even work for you you gotta have something for the tissue to grow on um, and I wasn't completely bone on bone at that point and um, and remember this isn't it wasn't my main angle joint it was my subtalar joint the one that you actually get this kind of movement with so it was very painful to do even this or this or anything like that because that sub tailor does has a has it helps you keep your balance and stuff. Um, but anyways, my glasses are fogging up. I just got done working out here at the house since we're all quarantined for the. Well, I don't know if it's quarantine. We got this stay at home, mandatory stay at home thing going on here in Arizona. But you know what? It's good. Like uh, let's keep everybody well. Keep everybody safe. You know, um, make sure you guys are eating healthy. Don't just sit on the couch. I actually did a whole workout routine. I called it the COVID, uh, the COVID-19 stay-at-home killer workout. And I posted on my Instagram, and uh, I posted on my Facebook, and I actually did some pictures on there on my Instagram today. And um, it just basically just you know I'm like. Do 19 push-ups, 19 sit-ups, times three, okay? And a lot of people, I mean, like, I get it, dude. Some people are like, man, I can do, like, five sit-ups, okay? Well, you do as many as you can do, you know? Start off slowly, okay? Especially if you're older, you always want to start off real, real slow, real slow. It's baby steps. Everything is baby steps, okay? This is a, a marathon. Everything in life, is, it seems to me, is a marathon. It's never a sprint, okay? There's certain things that are a sprint, but a lot of things are marathons. So just start off baby steps, you know, do five sit-ups, okay? But the killer workout is 19 sit-ups, 19 push-ups, 19 couch squats, okay? So basically you stand up in front of your couch and you sit down to the cushion, try not to sit all the way down, and then stand right back up. Do 19 of those. See how your knees feel, see how your legs feel. They'll be on fire. You do three sets of 19 on those. And then I've got 19 where you take the, the, the armrest of the couch Put your hands behind your back on there and then you, you put your legs up far and then you kind of squat down on your arms that gives your tricep a good workout do that on the on the leg of your couch um, you can do three sets of 19 on that if you're younger if you're older you want to just go ahead and go move your legs closer to the couch and just do what you can do don't push yourself okay remember marathon very very slow in and then every every week you'll get a little bit better and a little bit better and then before you know it you're on top of it okay and then I've got the, uh, let's see, we got the sit-ups, push-ups, air squats. Oh, I got the one where you can actually take a little kettlebell and you can actually squat just, just in an open area. Squat down with a little kettlebell. Hold the kettlebell up to your chest like this with both hands and then squat, okay? Um, you do three sets of 19 on those. I like the 19. It actually seems to be a pretty, it kind of pushes really, really hard if you're doing the 19. That's why it's called the killer workout. Um, and then, uh, um, and then curls. If you have some weights at home, you want to do 19 curls, both arms. Okay, three sets, 19. That, that, so then you've got your triceps been worked out, your chest has been worked out, your biceps have been worked out, and then your your core has been worked out, your legs have been worked out, all of your legs. You're getting all your joints good in this workout too. Okay, so you're getting a nice full body workout. Okay, all your joints are getting done. And if you have a swimming pool at home, a little swimming pool in the back. You can get in there and you can start just kind of swim back and forth the best you can, okay? Do a little bit of swimming, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be a, an, an overarm stroke. Just get in there, get those joints moving around, okay? Motion is lotion, remember that. If you want to get rid of that pain, sometimes you just got to go and work it out. 
if you wake up in the morning, you're real stiff. Like I wake up in the morning, time, my hips hurt and everything. I'm real stiff. I'm like, oh, why am I stiff today? Okay. Don't go grab that ball of ibuprofen. Don't pop those in your mouth the first thing. Okay. Start moving around. Go for a walk. If you're really moving slow, move slow. Slowly. Marathon. Remember that. Everything's baby steps. Slow. Okay. But get out there. Get those joints moving. Okay. Keep everything moving. Keep it moving. Moving. And get, keep those joints uh, get, getting that, uh, uh, those fluids into those joints. Okay. The healing fluid. Okay. You want to get that healing fluid in there. The stuff that, that your joints need. Okay. They need this motion. You see all this shit. your muscles they need the motion your muscles weren't created just to sit around your muscles are made to move around okay if you're sitting there just watching uh, uh, Laverne and Shirley reruns and stuff you probably should get off your butt and go do something you know what I mean Sh Laverne and Shirley will still be there okay you can watch them later on at night enjoy the beautiful weather enjoy enjoy nature enjoy life okay get out there and, and if you're afraid to leave your house because of the COVID-19, guess what? Go in your backyard. If you don't have a backyard, you got a little balcony. Go on your balcony. Get some of that fresh air. Breathe in some of this fresh air. Don't lock yourself up in your house. That's not healthy. Move around. If you have no way of going outside or whatever, start moving back and forth down your hallways. You know what I mean? Start Just start walking back and forth. Get that blood circulating, okay? Get that life. Your life is in your blood. Your life is in, your, in the motion in your joints. The life is the good oxygen life is the sun the vitamin d for the sun you know um enjoy your life okay if you're stagnant and you're not moving around you're not going to enjoy your life okay you're going to enjoy your life when you're moving around and you're getting excited about actually doing something okay get around and move around get your joints moving okay all right you guys all my subscribers guess what i don't promote this channel i don't go and do all this advertisement and stuff People that find my channel, people that want to subscribe, great. Those are the people that I want here, okay? The people that don't subscribe or the people that want to just talk trash or whatever, I don't want you here. Go to another channel. You know what I mean? I'd rather have a small audience, an audience that really cares about the well-being of themselves, of their families, of their mental health, of their joints, of, of finding alternatives to the uh, medicines that are going to harm your body, have better natural remedies in life. Those are the people that I want here, okay? I want a good community. I'd rather build a nice, strong community where everybody can interact and everybody actually gets something from other people, okay? All right, you guys. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your day. I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.